Why, hello YouTube! Greetings from the Lazy Ivor Reviewer. Now, due to the length of the MP36 review, I have decided, after a suggestion from my wife, to split the transformation of Megatron into a separate video. So, if you're here, it's because you were linked here, you're looking how to transform MP36, or you just like watching my videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And since Megatron comes packaged in robot mode, let's start there. Now, I read the instructions, and they do give you a specific way to do things, but I found doing it my way is slightly easier. Start by unclipping the back of the skirt panels, and then rotate the waist 180 degrees. Rotate the chest plate clockwise 90, and then swing the chest in on its double hinge. Pull out the side panels, and then rotate them upward while straightening them out. Then close them over top. Pull the shoulder hinges down. Fold away the ab sections into the upper chest. On the back, fold down the barrel. Fold down the other side. Swing up the entire back section. Fold out and swivel around the Decepticon symbol plates and then close up the whole thing around what was the chest. On the arms, pull out the section behind the shoulder and flip around the back plating. Fold around the shoulder spikes, and then close out the side paneling to streamline the side. Position the arms so that the front of the shoulder is parallel with the top of the chest joint. Then wrap around what was the back of the shoulder. Open up the hand, close the thumb, wrap the fingers around, open up the side of the arm, and then fold the hand into the arm. Rotate around the plate on top and then collapse the forearm into the bicep. On the back, fold up the front of the trigger guard, and then fold down the entire arm section so that it's all one solid unit. From here, there's a few things to do that aren't symmetrical on the arms. On the arm with the fusion cannon, you can rotate that plate around. Technically speaking, it is the same on the other side, but the way it moves is a little bit different. Rotate around the safety switch. And on the arm without the scope, fold up the flap on the top plate. Now on to the bottom part. Take the hip skirts and fold them around. Take a screwdriver, loosen the screw here or turn it to to make it easier to pull the leg hinges down, kind of like Generations Rec Guard does. What I find interesting here is that every review I've seen covers this because it needs to be done. So my question is, who did the torque specs for the MP Megatron mold at the factory, tested it, and went, eh, that's about right. Not enough to break the figure on the first try, but enough to scare out every man-child that touches this thing. Because, man, that joint just does not want to seem to move freely otherwise. Pull up the parts that become the hammer. On the front, rotate the ankle guards up. Split the legs apart. Fold in the front panels. Rotate on the double hinge the fronts of the legs to become trigger guards. On the back, pull out the backs of the feet and flip up the tips. For the feet, flip the fronts forward while the soles of the feet go down. Rotate the soles around to the tops of the feet. Swing around the feet until the tops of them become the bottom of the handle. Flip out the heel tips and then close the feet bottoms in. Then on its rocker hinge where one side goes up and the other one goes down, collapse the legs in on themselves. Clip the feet together. And then of all things, this was the last thing I expected to see, fold the thighs in on themselves the opposite way of the knee joint. Like, I think it's appropriate to quote Tom Skaw here. Whose idea was this? That's genius. Pull the hammer down, unfold the side skirts, swing the back paneling down, Fold the side paneling in and then mash it all together until it all clips together securely. Fold up this black piece, pull the arms up and fold them together. But before you do, take great care that the pin right here isn't causing any clearance issues, as I've had paint scratches on the shoulder because of this one metal pin. Attach the trigger guard pieces together, put the hammer back up, extend the scope, and gun mode. And a pretty epic gun mode, might I just say. And all it took was roughly 50 steps to get here. Right then, let's go backwards. Retract the scope, pull the hammer down for now, detach and move the trigger guard up, pull apart and rotate the arms down. Fold down the black piece up top, pull out the front handle flaps, flip up the top of the handle flaps. For the front flaps, fold them in. Flip the hammer back up to make clearance for other parts. Rotate the back of the gun back into the thighs to straighten them out. Separate the legs. On each leg, untab and then counterswing the outer panels out until they're parallel. Fold in the tips of the front plate. Rotate the feet out. Swing in the front plates to become feet soles. Compress the feet together to their final shape. On the back, fold the tips in. Push the back of the legs into the leg assemblies. On the front, rotate the trigger guards into the fronts of the legs. Fold up the front panels that become the shins. Peg it all together to form one solid unit. Then fold down the fronts of the legs. Rotate the hammer pieces down into the thighs. Spread the hips and lock them into place into the waist. Form the side skirts around the waist but don't peg them in just yet. 
On the arms, fold in the paneling on the left arm, rotate around the safety switch, swing around the plates on what will become the forearms, rotate the arms forward, and for the sake of clearance, let them fall to the side. Fold away the trigger guard. On each arm, extend the forearm. Fold around the top plate if you haven't already. Swing out the hand, fold in the flap to close up the arm. Open up the hand, pull out the thumb, close the hand, and rotate the hand like so. Fold down the shoulder panel. Rotate and ratchet down the arm assembly. Open up the side panel. Rotate around the shoulder spire. Fold in half of the black section. Close up the shoulder section. On the top, open up the chest area. Spin around and fold up these panels. Swing this entire section down. Fold up this part. Rotate around the gun barrel. On the front, pull out and rotate down the sides of the Megatron's torso. Rotate the shoulders up into position. Open up this area. Simultaneously rotate these pieces down and bend them at a 90 degree. Then rotate them into position. Pull out and down on its double swing hinge, the chest. Then rotate it 90 degrees into place. Rotate the whole upper body half. And finally, plug the hip skirts into position on his back. And that's it! Hopefully this video has helped you if you are unsure how to get Megatron between alt modes, or if you were just intimidated by the complex figure this guy is before you. If the video is up, the link to my full MP36 review will be in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and this has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer.